Jesse Eisenberg and Kieran Culkin. Directed by Jesse Eisenberg. That's an interesting duo. A Real Pain. Directed by Jesse Eisenberg. Jesse Eisenberg is one of those actors that had the greatest role ever for him in Mark Zuckerberg. And he really never found his footing as an actor, as the nerdy guy, you know? He never really did much else. I mean, what else? I mean, Zombieland, you know? The Now You See Me new movies. He was Lex Luthor. I, I, I like his Lex Luthor, but I'm not, I'm not a big, you know, comic reader. I thought he was good as Lex Luthor. The Village. Yeah, I mean, he never really found it. Uh, Sasquatch Sunset, that was weird. He never really got anything else too good since a social network, you know? It's really unfortunate, but I mean, he's still working, so good for him. He's still a name. He's still a guy that's out there doing stuff, but I mean, he just had that famous role in one of the biggest movies of the century. You know, but that's the thing with acting, man. It's It just feels like I would never want to get into acting as a full-time thing because you could be a great actor, but I feel like so much of it is based off looks and presence. You know, that's kind of half of it, I feel like. So, you know, you could be perfect for one movie role and then just you could be hot, like a hot actor in the industry where you're booking a bunch of parts but then like you're gonna be it's almost like a cycle you're not like the new big thing anymore i mean people it's really hard for people to maintain relevance and and stay in that public eye and keep getting cast in in good things unless you are a very distinct personality and and presence you know so anyway this this is is a cool pairing i love kieran culkin i will you know after succession i mean i can't wait to see him in more stuff I always loved Kieran Culkin from when I saw Scott Pilgrim versus the world. He was great in Scott Pilgrim. He plays very similar to the character he does in Succession, but that's his personality. You know, he's not really, I mean, you know, I'm not saying, you know, acting is acting, but he has a personality to him in the characters that he plays that I think is really fun and very unique. So... Yeah, this is probably the first thing he's done since Succession ended, so definitely want to check this out. Uh, Let's see what the description is. I have no idea what this movie's even about. Mismatched cousins David and Benji reunite for a tour through Poland to honor their beloved grandmother. The adventure takes a turn when the pair's old tensions resurface against the backdrop of their family history. Okay, cool. So So a drama you know, just connecting from the past or something like that. All right, this is a very short trailer, so let's just see what we got. Searchlight Pictures. They do a lot of Oscar-y stuff, right? We stay moving, we stay light, we stay agile. The conductor's gonna come through taking tickets. We tell him we're going to the bathroom. The bathroom, He gets to the back of the train, he's gonna start heading towards the front looking for... Same type of Kieran Culkin, just that quick talky kind of person. You know, and now he's got a beard. Stragglers. Sorry, we're the stragglers? Yeah. By the time he gets to the front, the train's going to be in the station and we're home free. This is so fucking stupid. Tickets are probably like 12 bucks. The principle of thing. We shouldn't have to pay for train tickets in Poland. This is our country. No, it's not. It was our country. They kicked us out because they thought we were cheap. Definitely seems like some comedic elements. I mean, you're definitely going to get that with Kieran Culkin. Yeah, seems a little hangout-ish. What is up with this music? This is such an artsy-fartsy Jesse Eisenberg type thing. What the flying fuck, man? I'm so Why sorry. did you do fuck, that? You're like red. Yeah, because you fucking slapped me in the face. <laughs> All 
all right, that told me absolutely nothing about the the story. It just I, I did not like that music at all. I mean, it's different, but it just seems very it's too much. That piano was too much. Ugh. I don't know why I kind of I've seen Jesse Eisenberg in some all, other smaller indie stuff, and he does seem kind of like a like a little bit of a pretentious artsy fartsy in, indie guy. What the fuck is Kieran Culkin wearing in these movies? Is he like a bomb and going to have to... I don't know. This could either be pretty good or pretty insufferable and formulaic. I don't know. We'll see. I'll wait till the next trailer comes. The actual trailer. 